Claudia, Constantinopoli, called Istanbul by the Turks, has welcomed me as one of its own. The assassins here, led by an affable fighter named Yusuf, take great pride in their city. A place as diverse and colorful as one could imagine. But it is a troubled city too. A rebellious faction of Byzantine Templars still fights to retain influence. And their recent attacks have delayed my search for the Masyaf Keys. But this will not last. As soon as I am able, I will begin looking for Niccolo Polo's former trading post. In search of clues that will bring me nearer to the Masyaf Keys. How did we do? We have won the day and recovered that den. But we lost a few friends in this fight. So much death for so little gain. You have some experience recruiting new assassins, do you not? More than a little. The people here are quite sick of these Templar attacks. Can you turn on your charms and find us a few more recruits? See, si. But this den will not do for training them. Not this soon. A good point. Speak with one of my men in Galata after you are finished. He can help you begin their training. Are you a compassionate man, Effendi? Can you help me? That I stole fruit from a vendor, I will not deny. But only because my hunger has trumped my honesty. Bring me the key to these chains, and I will repay you tenfold. Wait right here. Uh, obviously. Humble me, Effendim. I will return to the merchant I robbed and show him the same kindness. After you have cleared your conscience, amigo, consider joining our cause. To be an honest man, one needs honest work. I would be honored. Saul.
Mentor, we have a problem. A great many assassins have disappeared in recent months, and I believe I know why. Disappeared? Do you mean they have been killed? I fear so, but there is no time to explain. Hide in the park west of here, and wait for me to arrive. You shall see for yourself. Sharpen your senses. There is a danger here I do not fully understand. You keep watch, and I will have a look around. Drop the killers! Make them pay! That man. Only a guilty man runs with such speed. And only a fool stops to fight. My heart is heavy. That man, his name is Vari. He was an assassin once. He has obvious skill and a score to settle. Evet, until that man is caught or killed, I fear none of us will be safe in this city. And until you are properly trained, I will not let you go head to head with a killer as deadly as this man. Let us focus on further honing your skills first. Damage. Not that I can see. Byzantine Templars may be bad hosts, but are decent tenants. Once they capture a location, they like to keep it intact. Because they intend to stay. Kessin Linkle. 
Well, as promised, if you want to learn how to craft your own bombs, I can show you. Ah, 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 don't touch that. One wrong move and bang, the building comes down. Are you serious? <laughs> Look on your face. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. We craft our bombs from a combination of three parts. The shell, the gunpowder, and the primary ingredient. Sometimes we add a few extras too, for fun. But we'll come to that later. For now, focus on these elements. You'll find many ingredients for bomb recipes scattered throughout the city. So keep your eyes open and your nose to the ground as you move about. That should keep me busy. Grazie, Yusuf. Have you ever seen this book? Uh, no. It's a journal? Si. The Secret Crusade by Niccolo Polo. A Marcos father? I found this on a Templar in Masyaf. It mentions the five keys to Altair's library. Niccolò brought them here and hid them. Ah, and the Templars know this, so it's a race against time. They found one already, beneath Topkapo. I want to recover it and find the other four. So, where will you begin? The old Polo trading post, I think. They ran a business in this area, no? I believe so. Speak with a man named Piri Reis in the bazaar. He can point you in the right direction. And teach you a few more bomb recipes, if you are so inclined. I've seen some of your earliest work. Reyes? <laughs> Did Yusuf Tazim send you? That sounds like one of his exaggerations. See, si. he said you could show me the location of Niccolo Polo's former trading post. Ah, you must be that Florence he's been yammering on about. Uh, Lothario? Ezio. I don't hear the difference. Yes, the old Polo shop. It's just west of Aya Sofia. Here. Grazie. Yusuf also mentioned that you were the man to talk to about specialty bombs. Ah, that man. He is a talker. A vet. I'm a navigator in the Sultan's navy. Currently on leave to study cartography. But through my soldiering, I've also gained an appreciation for artillery and explosives. And it has served the assassins well. It gives us a... an edge. I carry many kinds of bombs. For assassins only, of course. Lethal, tactical, diversionary, and...
and a few peculiar casings. Everything you see here is for sale. If you can prove you know how to use it first. I am eager to learn. Well, no one is stopping you. Just let me know. Buongiorno, Merava. Please come in. Oh, excuse the clutter. I have not had time to tidy up since my trip. You sailed from Rhodes, no? Si. How did you know? We were on the same ship. I am Ezio Auditore. Sofia Sartor. Have we met? We have now. May I have a look around? Prego. Most of my best tomes are in the back. It is nice to meet another Italian in this district. Most keep to the Venetian Quarter and Galata. Altrettanto. I assume the Ottoman war with Venezia would have driven most of you away. I lived here with my parents when I was a girl. The war pushed us out. But I always knew I would return. Have you found anything interesting? Mio Dio! Who put that there? Incredibile. Where does it lead? Why don't we find out? Who are you, Messere? Only the most interesting man in your life. Ah, oh, che presuntuoso. A presto, Sofia. I will return in a moment. How long we've been searching this filthy cistern? I've been here a few weeks. Thirteen months! Ever since the Grand Master found that damn key. But he hasn't got a clue what he's doing. All he knows is that somewhere in the city... This is a big city. Toxel. That's what I said. Back to your post, Aietes. Look alive, eh? We we'll pay you to wash the doors, not your feet.
flick of this place. And really, uh, eight hours of a spill. A piece of dog. Petros, make sure we have enough torches for the excavation. I'm tired of stopping around in the dark. Every shadow. There is someone down here with us. 
Keep your eyes open and your hands steady. Salve, Ezio. That took some time. What did you find? Something that may interest you. Mio Dio, che meraviglia! And here is my shop. Look at the margins. Strange symbols. And these are titles of books. Rare books. A few of these have not been seen for more than a millennium. Nicolò Polo hid these books around the city. This map should tell us where. Hmm. You're beginning to interest me. Vaguely. From what I can tell, I need to find these three books first. They may contain clues to locate the rest of these. Molto curioso. Another was found beneath Topkapa Palace, but there is still time to reach the others. Found by whom? Men who do not read. Sophia, can you decipher this map? Help me find these books. Can I borrow them when you are finished? We will work something out. Yusuf, salute. Piri told me I might see you here. Did you find what you were looking for? I believe so. This is one of Altair's five keys. A strange artifact. Ah, it is like nothing I have ever seen. You should keep it somewhere safe. 
At our headquarters, see, si, I will. What brings you this way? I am coordinating with our allies today. The thieves in the bazaar, the mercenaries near the arsenal, and the Romanis in the Constantine district. You are spread a bit thin, Yusuf. Let me speak with the Romanis myself. I have had so little contact with them in the past. That would ease my mind. If you are in a hurry, you may travel by our network of tunnels. The air down there is a little foul, but the rats are no bigger than dogs. Have fun. Grazie. I have seen happier men at the gallows. Heh, crap wise elsewhere, Effendim. Today the Byzantines stole half a year's worth of coin from us. Mi dispiace. Can I help? Perhaps. For centuries, my people have been slandered and insulted, labeled witches and warlocks. Well, so be it. We will not run from these lies anymore, but embrace them. Encourage these rumors, for it is better to be infamous than ignored. I like the sound of that. Here is my plan. Every man who touched that chest of coins must die, but discreetly, as if cursed by a pagan hex. The Romani curse becomes our blessing. Perhaps then people will leave us be. I cannot believe how heavy this is. What is happening? Is he ill? Leave him! He cannot stay!
is it? What the hell is going on here? Is it the Romani curse? The what? God help us. This is a bad idea. are always the best. Do be careful, Ezio. I hear that chest is cursed. Where to, bella donna? This way. And stay alert. Have you heard the term gypsy? Quite often, see. Si. Did you know that this word was born from the misapprehension that my people are from Egypt? You find it offensive? I find it funny. My people are from Eastern Persia and beyond. Yet, somehow we have become citizens of a land we have never seen. People are quick to judge and slow to correct themselves. <laughs> people are stupid. Sometimes. Ezio, the simplest answer is always the best. You should count it. Make sure everything is there. Oh, you have our thanks, Ezio. And you can count on us from here on out. For anything. At any time. Good to know. If I need, say, to borrow some money, I will ask you. Broken foot. What is your name, brother? Altair, son of Umar. Umar? Oh, yes. He was a fine man who lived as he died. With honor. Altair, we have been betrayed. The enemy has overrun the castle. You live. And Al Mualim, where is he? He was inside when the Crusaders broke through. But we can do nothing for him now. Altair, we must fall back. When I close the castle gate, flank the Crusaders in the village and drive them into the canyon. You don't stand a chance! Abbas, no mistake. Oh! <laughs> 
Many better men than you. <laughs> Another step, and your mentor dies. You will not leave this place alive, traitor. No, you misunderstand. I am no traitor. For I cannot betray those I never truly love. Then you are doubly wretched, for you have been living a lie. Now you call on your lapdog to protect you! 
you disappoint me? Why not share what you have learned with everyone, like a proper assassin? Why not share with your brothers the true extent of your ambition? Where is your sense of fraternity? Another good man dies and still you say nothing. I am surprised. You taught me many things, al -Muali, but patience was not one of them. Speak now, or I will cut out your tongue that you may speak no more! You put too much faith in the hearts of men, Altair. The Templars know the truth. Humans are weak, base, and petty. No. Our creed is evidence to the contrary. Perhaps I am not wise enough to understand, but I suspect the opposite. That I am too wise to believe such rubbish. You offered him a chance to salvage his dignity. Why? No man should pass from this world without knowing some kindness. But he shunned your graces. As was his right. Altair, I have watched you grow from a boy to a man in so short a time. It fills me with as much sadness as pride. You fit your father's shoes as if they had been tailored to your feet. I did not know him well as a father. He was an assassin, above all. You too were born into this order. Do you regret it? How can I regret the only life I've ever known? You may find a way in time, and it will be up to you to choose the path you prefer. Come, my boy, and ready your blade. This battle is not yet won. They contain recorded memories, these keys, these ancient seals. But what is Altair trying to tell us, I wonder? What does he want the future to know, or to learn? of the Traitor Valley. Have you found him? He found us, Mentor. Two of our brothers were kidnapped from this den earlier today. Now Vali is demanding that we hand over our property to the Templars. No. Do not negotiate with men who use hostages as leverage. We hunt them down and we eliminate them. Then we should split up and search Galata now. We have little time to waste.
Was it Vali who did this to you? And don't forget me. You have fallen for a ruse. He captured me to draw assassins away from our headquarters. He will be on his way there now. Any soldier, Ezio, but you alone are not enough to save this city. I will follow from the rooftops. marched into Wallachia, and you assassins did nothing to stop it. How could I continue to believe? If a man's philosophy does not let him protect his people, his home, and his family, what good can it do for the world? Peace be with you. <laughs> 